Well, what's up, Version fam? My name is Tanisha. And my name is Nathan, and we are from Rock City Worship. And we have the absolute joy of sharing with you today the verse of the day. Today's verse, it comes from Galatians 2, 20, and it says this, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So what does it mean to be crucified with Christ? Well, it means that we are no longer slaves to or of the world, but we are free. And y'all, that is really good news. It almost seems like Paul is contradicting himself just a little bit with what we read. So first he says, I no longer live. And then he says, the life I live. And so I'm wondering, which is it, Paul? (laughs) But there's something to say about what he means when he says, I no longer live. He's referring to his old self, his rebellious self, his sinful self. That is who no longer lives. And then we look at what he says next. And he says, the life he now lives in the flesh by faith. And here he's referring to the newness of life, Christ living and working through him. Yes, that is so good. And to reiterate that, I think there's two points that we can focus on. The first one is that in Christ, we are dead Mm -hmm. to sin. United with Christ in his death, we no longer live as slaves to our sinful desires and our old nature. We're free. Um, And then number two, in Christ, we're made alive and uh, united with Christ in his resurrection. It is no longer we that live, but it's Christ that lives in us. And we have a brand new life. We take on this new life by trusting in Jesus. And this is a life lived by the spirit. This is what it means for Christ to live in us. Our new self is created by the spirit through faith. And the image of that new self is Christ. Mm -hmm. It's Jesus himself. And so we're not who we used to be. And I'm not who I used to be. Mm -hmm. And praise God for that. What a confidence we have in Jesus. And what a joy we have to know that Christ lives in us. Knowing that truth, how am I going to live today? Well, here's what I can be confident in. It's no longer I who live, Mm -hmm. but it's Christ who lives in me.